May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Amen. I greet you from Jerusalem as you hear the bells, and I'm looking forward to my visit to Australia. I'm eager to meet you and have fruitful discussion on education as an effective tool for mission. I believe that education is the only transformative power that changes young people who are enrolled in the Lutheran schools of Australia and the Holy Land. We have so much in common, both Australian Lutherans and Palestinian Lutherans recognize the essence of ministry is in shaping the lives of young people, giving them the power to think and discern critically, to become people of integrity, people who exist with other religions and cultures, people who engage in dialogue with others, regardless of gender, race, or creed. This is the good news, the heart of the gospel. This is the transformative power of education which Martin Luther taught us about. Though our church faces financial challenges, we place a priority on keeping our schools fully operational. The children are, are, are our most precious resource and as such deserve every opportunity for growth and transformation. Our goal is to provide educational opportunities from the womb to the tomb. I look forward to talking with you, sharing stories of our students who have overcome challenges and fulfilled their God-given potential. These days, we remember with thanksgiving the life of Deacon Lawrence of Rome who was once asked by the emperor to display the treasures of the church. The emperor expected Deacon Lawrence to produce gold, silver, and diamonds. But instead, Deacon Lawrence brought forth the people of the church, the outcast, the poor, the hungry, the sick, and the children. His example shows us that our greatest treasure is not precious metal or jewels, but rather our treasure is our children, our people whom we serve. This is why we make such an effort to invest in them and shape true disciples for working in God's vineyard. I believe we have mutual gifts to offer each other. May this be the beginning of a wonderful relationship between Lutheran schools in Australia and the Holy Land. Holy Land, sharing our knowledge and resources for the sake of the gospel and of our children. May God bless you and keep you until we are gathered together in Brisbane.